Hi, I'm Zachary Cowley, author of the Study Daily Books, and thanks for joining me for a look at Doctrine and Covenants, section 138, part one. So this section has been given, it's been around for a long time, since 1918, and it's been included in the Doctrine and Covenants since 1981. Before that, it was included in the Pearl of Great Price. But when they redid it, they included section 127, 138, sorry, 137, 138, and official declaration number two in, voted on them, sustained them, accepted them as actual scripture, canonized scripture for the entire church. And this is really cool because it's President Joseph F. Smith and his revelation on what happens in the spirit world. And so go ahead, you're gonna pause your video and check out verses one through 11 and look for what kinds of things was President Joseph F. Smith doing that allowed him to get this revelation. And you'll see that many of those things we can do to allow us to get revelation. All right, see you in a minute. All right, thanks for studying. So some of the things that you saw is he's pondering scriptures, he's reading scriptures, he's pondering on the love of God and the love of Jesus Christ in God allowing his son to perform an atonement, Christ performing it. He's meditating on these things, he's asking questions, he's doing all of this. Another thing that's happening is when he's done with this, he writes it down, he shares it with people. Those are things that allow us to continue to get revelation and prepare us. Which one of those things in your life help you to get revelation and help you be prepared for that. Then as he starts to get this vision of what happens in spirit paradise, check out verses 12 through 24 and look for what allowed these people to be in spirit paradise and prepared for that. And also what were they waiting for and what does and does not happen when the savior Jesus Christ appeared following his crucifixion before his resurrection. What does he do his ministry consist of? All right, see you in a minute. Hey, thanks for studying. So one of the things that you saw is going to be the things that people did to be qualified for entrance into spirit paradise. So there are three things right there in like 12 through 14. They uh, were faithful in their testimony of Jesus Christ while living in mortality. They offered sacrifice and similitude or because of Jesus Christ, like they were willing to sacrifice like he was. And the other thing is, is they had a great hope that they would have a glorious resurrection. And of course they wanted this. In verse 17, it talks about they had this great joy of being delivered. And then in verses 50 and 52, it says that the dead looked on the absence of their body as a bondage. And they were anticipating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection to overcome this. And when he does show up, it's this glorious moment in between the crucifixion and resurrection. He's there, he's teaching the people, he talks about the atonement, the redemption, the power of resurrection, that soon those, the bonds of death will be broken. But among the wicked, he doesn't go. His ministry stays among those in spirit paradise. We're gonna learn a little bit more about his ministry next time. But how do you feel about your body? How do you feel about your gospel of Jesus Christ and the hope that it gives you? Are you looking forward to having your body changed and viewing this thing and how lucky we are to have it? The death view it as a bondage not to have it. Well, today, how can you use your body to liberate you, to help you feel greater hope, to help you sacrifice, and to help you in your testimony of Jesus Christ? Hey, thanks for studying. We'll see you next time.